Hank Brown, number nine, a senior. He is out there. Brown will pass on the right side. He will get it to the right side. And that is a good run as that will get across the 25 to the 27. Gain of seven on the screen pass. Love the strategy early. Do a little run pass option there. Inside zone, not so fast. Qu young quarterbacks, all you're doing is reading the box. They, if you have a good run call run call against a defense, that they have enough guys to, to run that ball with a tight end in there, you run it. If you have numbers to the outside, you throw it. That's what he does. Hank does a, makes a great decision, making an accurate throw and getting run after the catch. Drew Patterson is the running back. The pass goes along the near side, and that will be a catch, and that is caught by Junior Sherrill. And Cheryl, the guy who the whole thing works around, according to Trent Dilfer, he's going to Vanderbilt, a versatile run catch workhorse, explosive with the ball in his hands. Quick offense here, and the handoff goes to the left side, and that's good running room as that will go to about the 44 yard line, as that is a quick run by Drew Patterson. Love the tempo here early. Coach Dilfer really dictating the line of scrimmage here with his tempo, making the defense show, making them be a little generic, not being able to run pressures and things in that in that nature. Doing a good job of executing early in this game, taking what the defense gives you. Quarterback in rhythm, that's scary. Two receivers line up in tandem to the right. Two backs in the backfield. And a fake to the running back, a pass along the right side, and that's a good looking run. It gets inside the 45. Down to about Evolution. the 42. The game of football has been 365 days, and these kids have taken it pride upon themselves to better their team, and 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 a kudos to them for getting being ready to play play this game. Fourth down. There's a little jet screen as Bye -bye. that is going to go to the house. That is going to be a TD for Junior Cheryl. He's the guy who makes things work. He's going to Vanderbilt. He just went for six. What a fantastic call by Trent Dilfer. He came out, anticipated blitz zero, and had the greatest call you could possibly have, a perimeter screen that goes for six. What a fantastic chess match going on on that sideline over there. For I, I'm telling you, that, that right there, that play by Hank Brown right there is in my memory bank. That is a college-ready football play right there. I mean, that's, that is the college game in a nutshell. Everything doesn't happen perfectly. Sometimes communication happens where you just have people that run the wrong route, don't get the call. What does a good quarterback do? He, a bad quarterback forces that ball into a guy that's not running the wrong route. This one checks the ball down, lives another death. Here's a big throw that goes downfield. It's a catch, and this is going to go to the house. Touchdown. Wow. Wow. Camarion Ward with the touchdown catch. And man, I'll tell you what, they drew up another fine play there, Brandon. And wow. Hank Brown connected with the pass, and Ward did the rest. I tell you what, Trent Dilfer, you better, better take a peek at him if you're a small college he is running a college offense his team looks well oiled machine out here his quarterback knows where to go with the ball he is anticipating coverages before they even run them i think the defensive coordinator is rattle on this sideline what a drive by lips welcome back here to milton high school scott galetti along with brandon dowdy former quarterback and a good one nation's leader in passing at western kentucky you're watching the Freedom Bowl here on Flow of Sports. Nickel passes. That's a completion to Moskowitz on the screen. He will get the first down and more, and he'll be down near midfield and around the 48. That was a good-looking play. They didn't rush things, and Nickel just saw Moskowitz breaking, and Moskowitz got the pass. Yeah, they just threw a little screen pass to him. Did a good job of. They're doing a good job of getting Nickel uh, comfortable in this offense. He's two for two passing, not not making him do too much. Uh, you can tell he's. A little bit younger than Hank Brown is, so uh, he's getting his footing into this game, getting his rhythm, but good good, good play call, good screen against the Blitz. Perfect call yeah, first I, down. I think that's a, a product of being a quarterback in the NFL. You have to be able to communicate not only to your offense, not only to your coaching staff, but you got to communicate to the defensive guys too. you got to be relatable and able to present yourself in a, in a manner that is, has gains respect and earns it. 8.05 to go. Nickel here in the second quarter. Passes to their side, and that is a beauty! What a catch by DeBron Gatling, who is the go-to guy. Wow, what a throw. A little 
Back shoulder fade. There's a one-on-one -on -one ball. They're in, they're in man coverage across the board. Tried to heat up the young quarterback. Not so fast. Makes a beautiful throw on the sideline. Receiver goes up and catches it, but it's either my ball or nobody. The, the, the back shoulder game has become so prevalent in sports and the game of football lately. And he just perfected it with that throw. Ben Reeves, the offensive coordinator since 2017. Head coach for the first season. They're gonna do a double pass here, perhaps. And pass on the left side. That's Gatling again. And Gatling maneuvering, dancing, hit hard out of bounds. What a play. Wow. That is a phenomenal football play by a non-quarterback. He does a great job. His first read is open. He's the one that's supposed to be throwing that ball to the outside there. He makes the one guy miss and just finds a receiver playing a little backyard football. So that was Rob Billings, who is a quarterback, and the pass on the near side. That's going to go downfield. Is that as Esley? And Esley gets inside the 30. They will mark him all the way near the 20 Five. second and nine now. Once again, Nickel. This time he's going to loft it towards the end zone up for grabs. And who grabbed it? Intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Beasley. What a game that guy's having. You're not kidding. Wow. Caleb Beasley, an interception in the end zone. They get seven. It's a one possession game, and they get the ball back at the half. Now you're looking. Now you say that, and people say there's 50 seconds. They're way back here at the 20. Oh, not, to use your word, not so fast. Absolutely. They're going to go. I mean, this offense is built for the speed, so they're going to go, go, go. Watch. They're going to come out slinging this thing. Brown, hurry up pass, gets the ball off to his man Micah Burton. Burton down towards the left sideline, all the way to the 40. Get out of bounds, son. Yeah, that's the only problem that he didn't do. They're going to have to take a timeout. Well, the clock should stop with the first down. Wow. They didn't stop it at first. What an underrated throw by Zach Brown there, trying to make that over top of the, the trailing defender. On the screen pass, what a great job. Almost job. got him another first down. Another good job by Hank, Hank Brown. Just going through his progressions, taking completions. His first read wasn't open. It's okay. We're going to take check the ball down, make the decision on the head coach to say, hey, are we going to go for this or are we going to kick kick a field goal? Again, every drive ending with a kick for Lipscomb so far. 22-yard attempt. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. 22-yard attempt. So three more points on the board for Lipscomb Academy, and they lead the ball game by a score of 17 to nothing here in Milton, Georgia. 21 seconds to play in the third quarter. You're watching the Freedom Bowl on Flow Football. Back here at Milton, Georgia, Scott Gluddy, along with Brandon Dowdy. Hope you're enjoying this one here on Flow Football. Kickoff is a line drive kick, and coming up on the run and making the catch, and on the run, and that is a beautiful run. Hippity hop over his man, Esley, down the right sideline. One man to beat, he may be free, and he may be gone. Touchdown, Milton! Wow. Mark Esley, the second, Brandon Dowdy, used every part of this football field. Wow, what an unbelievable individual effort when your team needed it the most. A momentum-shifting, game-shifting return with two seconds left in the third quarter. Your offense wasn't producing anything, and they get a spark on special teams. Wow, what a play. And all of a sudden, Milton on the board, 17-6 with the point after pending. How much did you like the victory formation? That's the best play in football. I can imagine you passing on it, though. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs>
I could say the same thing about Trent Dilfer, yeah, but, you know. Kidding. <laughs> so that is the last play of the ball game, and this ball game is over. How about that? Lidstrom Academy comes into Milton, Georgia, and defeats the host Milton Eagles by a score of 17 to 7.